In the ring, boxer Pedro Estrada called himself Pistolo, the pistol, because of his powerful punch. But New York City police believe Estrada is using real pistols these days as an assassin for hire. Before we begin the case of Pedro Estrada, this warning, parental discretion is advised. La Vida, the life. The real mean streets of Spanish Harlem, New York City. Pedro Estrada knew this turf. It's a banana republic ruled by drug dealers and poverty pimps. Amid this culture of violence, Estrada learned to hustle and use what talents he had to get out. Blessed with powerful hands, Estrada became a boxer. Like the great Irish, Italian, and black boxers before him, Estrada was determined to fight his way out of poverty. He showed promise as an amateur, scoring 48 knockouts in 54 bouts. He turned pro and after nine fights found himself boxing for the New York State Junior Middleweight title. It was 1984, and a win would put him in the big time. In the corner of the pistol, Pedro Estrada. His trainer, Victor Machado, was in Estrada's corner that night. It was the moment, it was the moment. Uh, the kid was a contender, USA contender. Uh, but this particular fight, it could be well contender. Pedro was one count away from winning the state junior middleweight title. But four rounds later, he was on his way out. Either they tie or they know, boy. Less than 10 seconds to go. Can he last the round? The right hand, he's down. Would count will continue? No. Reviewing the fight nearly four years later, Jose Torres, chairman of the New York State Athletic Commission, says the humiliation of defeat took the heart out of Estrada. In Estrada's case, I'm sure that in that fight, against Troy Dutter, he began to doubt himself, and he began to search for options. Then he, he just snapped. Pedro Estrada looked tough in his glory days, a proud fighter with promise. He had been a chubby 14-year-old kid when he walked into Machado's gym. He tasted victory, and the inner peace of knowing he had the stuff of champions. But after that crucial knockout at Madison Square Garden, Estrada was arrested on a handful of petty offenses. He was taking a fall bigger than anything he'd encountered in the ring. Police say Estrada went to work for reputed East Harlem drug dealer, Nelson Rodriguez. I believe that Pedro was the an enforcer. He's for hire, I'm sure, he's for hire. Tight-knit they were, you know, in the boxing field, so, so to speak, weightlifting and what have you. They hung out in several gyms in Manhattan. They had moved their operation into the Bronx area. June 15th. 1986, the rooftop at 751 Walton Avenue in the Bronx. According to a witness, Pedro Estrada and his boss, Nelson Rodriguez, had come to... But before his body was discovered, Estrada and Rodriguez allegedly made another stop in the Bronx. According to court testimony by witnesses at 2319 Camberling Avenue, they murdered Luis Barrios, the drug dealer they believed had ordered their hit. Standing guard was Alberto Quinones, a Rodriguez enforcer known as L.A., the Latin assassin. They bound Esther Rodriguez and Jacqueline Cardona, girlfriends of Barrios who just happened to be in the wrong place that night. Dealing with garbage here. So you put on garbage gloves, huh? According to police, Estrada and the others intended to make their work appear to be part of a robbery. assuming they committed the perfect crime with no witnesses. But Jackie Cardona lived and was able to make her way out of the apartment and crawl down a hallway to phone police. Jackie Cardona's testimony helped convict Nelson Rodriguez and the Latin assassin of the murders of Barrios and Esther Rodriguez. Estrada, also indicted for those murders, remains at large, one of New York State's 12 most wanted fugitives. 
Estrada is believed to be somewhere in New York City, running from both the police and those who would avenge the murders police say he's committed. For Commissioner Torres, it's time Pedro Estrada surrendered. He makes this direct appeal to Estrada in his native Spanish. Pedro, yo quiero darte un mensaje muy importante. Y es que tu, ta, tu vida coge peligro. Te busca la policía y te busca los familiares y amigos de esa gente que alegan que tú mataste. Si tú te entregas a la policía, creo que tienes una mejor oportunidad de bregar con tu situación, con la justicia. La justicia, tú como boxeador sabes cómo bregar con esto. Si tú hiciste algo malo, confronta las consecuencias. Si no hiciste nada malo, vamos a ver qué hace la justicia. Así es que entrégate. Pedro Estrada is one of New York State's 12 most wanted fugitives, though he has not been convicted in the murders we've just reconstructed. Estrada was last seen near New York's Yankee Stadium. He has relatives in Jacksonville, Florida. He has the letters PE tattooed on his left shoulder. He might be wearing a beard or mustache. He once wore a gold medallion in the shape of an anchor. Notice the scar over his right eye. If you know where Pedro Estrada is tonight, give us a call at 1-800-CRIME-88. We have Spanish-speaking operators standing by, and we'll be right back. 